I would first like to highlight an ongoing study um, on which we have been working actually for decades, but in the last years has really come to a uh, fruition, specifically for patients with uh, uh, acute lymphoblastic uh, leukemia, a cancer that is very difficult to uh, treat, um, and where we have uh, developed in the last years a, a T-cell-based therapy, that is a type of white blood cell that every person has and is part of your defense system against uh, pathogens. Uh, scientists at our uh, center have uh, figured out to uh, manipulate uh, genetically these kind of uh, T-cells to now turn into cancer-seeking and cancer-killing cells. Uh, those cells are called CAR uh, T-cells. And the data that we have now for ALL is that uh, this can be used for those patients who have failed every other uh, therapy. And in about two-thirds of these patients, we're able to get them again into a uh, remission. And we are using that as a bridge towards a transplant so that these patients will be eligible uh, to get a life-saving bone marrow uh, transplant. Um, this is a therapy that uh, has been tested also for a CLL. We're going to show the data for ALL. Two other centers will also show that. And we think that this therapy holds greater promise for ALL. So the next study that I would like to highlight is a drug uh, that has been used for a variety of B-cell tumors. Those are types of uh, lymphomas. The drug is called uh, ibrutinib. And a study from our center, which was a phase one study, so really a study looking most and first of all at the safety of this uh, drug, showed that you can use this drug now upfront as a first line uh, treatment with the standard uh, treatment for a diffuse large cell uh, lymphoma. Um, this is a very promising study because the uh, response rates were actually higher than what we would normally see with these first line of therapies. And therefore it has been chosen as the uh, starting point for a large phase three study to now demonstrate that this possibly should be the new standard of care to add this drug to standard therapy. 